Welcome to a video which is going to give you a quick overview of the Python face recognition library. Um, this is really easy to get started with, probably about uh, two hours including installation and um, it has a range of really um, useful programs. Uh, you can recognize faces, you can apply makeup to faces, um, you can even use it to um, find a face, recognize a face in real time using a webcam. Um, so let's have a look how we get started. Um, you'll need to head over to the face recognition website which is here so links are downstairs in the um, in the comments and you'll need to install this now I did pip3 and I did sudo pip3 install face recognition because I was using Python 3 but on here once that installs you have all of the features and all of the code that you need to use and obviously I've used this and adapted it slightly um, because I wanted to uh, make a um, vampire facial recognition program I've been watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer on the reruns and I uh, thought it'd be quite good to use a camera to take a picture or use the camera in real time to find uh, if somebody was a vampire and obviously look at the face and recognize whether or not they had vampire teeth and the vampire features and then respond. I uh, didn't get around to finishing that but um, I had good fun playing around with it. So you'll need to install this but you'll also need to install um, the DLib um, uh, facial recognition software and again in the links is a really good video um, this is how to install it on the Raspberry Pi I can't believe it's got 23 views because it's absolutely fantastic it takes about 90 minutes to install and I'd probably recommend that you install this one first before you install the Python facial recognition so um, head over to the links at the bottom in the comments um, use this to install DLib on your Raspberry Pi I'm using the Raspberry Pi 4 with 4 gigabytes of RAM and uh, it's absolutely fine. Maybe, you know, 20 seconds, 30 second delay in some of the more um, demanding programs. So if you've got an 8 gig one, then uh, then you'll, you'll be spot on. So install that. Uh, once you're done, as I said, it takes about 90 minutes, install this one and then you are ready to go. What I'd also recommend is that you install some kind of um, graphic imaging software so the image viewer won't actually um, load and display the images so you might use GIMP I was using called Image Magic here um, simply head over to your simply head over to your terminal and type in sudo app install image magic and that will install an image um, viewer which means that when you run the programs you can see them so if I just give you a quick example on this one so this is finding the face so if I run this now you'll be able to see once it's ready all the people from Buffy as I said this is a kind of Buffy themed because I've been watching Buffy um, I've got a number of pictures in here related to Buffy here we go, here they all are. So most of the pictures are to do with Buffy and um, this is what we're going to be using to uh, to show you the different features. Okay, so check back once you're installed. It takes about 90 minutes to, to an hour, to two hours, sorry. Um, and uh, then you're done. So let's have a look at the first... Um, picture image recognition hack that uh, we're going to use. So the first one is basically finding a face in a picture. Um, in my file then I've got several pictures and I'm going to use this one which is the cast of Buffy and I'm going to use Python to locate this. Now it requires the um, sudo privileges so I'm going to open idle using sudo which means that Python now has the pseudo privileges. And then we'll go file open and uh, find the first program. And here it is. So what this is going to do is it's going to load the image Buffy from the, uh, the folder and it's going to look for all the faces in the image, print out that it's found them and then quite nicely it's going to print out each of the pictures or each of the faces that it finds. So let's run it. Takes a couple of minutes. 
So it's found all the pictures and here are all the faces which you can see just opening up here. There's Dawn Spike, Josh who's the writer, <laughs> Cheeky Xander, Anya, Tara and what it's done obviously is found each of the, the pictures and then has printed them out. Uh, here's, um, here's Anthony Head I'm calling him. The um, Giles, that's his name. It's come back to me. Okay, so that's quite a nice one. Now one of the challenges with that is obviously that the picture opens up separately, which is quite good if you want to um, locate them or you need them all cutting out. Uh, but what would be probably better would be to actually uh, identify the pictures, identify the faces within the picture. So we're going to try that now. So I'm going to go back to my Python file. I'm going to go File Open. This time, Find a Face. And this is the second version of the program. So you can see in this one, I'm still opening up the file, uh, finding each of the faces, but this time I'm using the Pill library to draw faces. Um, sorry, draw the rectangle around the faces. And it's going to be yellow with a width of 3. Obviously I want to make it thicker. I can put 5. So let's run this one. And again, it will find the 10 faces and then it should open the picture with a yellow box around each of the faces. Excellent. So you can see it's found the actual face, um, not the forehead, just the face, and you can see these are the same images that were printed out um, in the previous program. So pretty easy that, just a few lines of code, and um, you've got a simple facial recognition program written in Python. So in the next program, what we're going to do is find the features um, in each of the faces. So if I open up the Buffy face again, so the um, the features are obviously the eyes, the smile, Xander's crazy smile, the nose, etc., eyebrows, and um, we can use a Python program to locate them. So I'm going to go File and Open and click the Find the Feature, and we're going to run this. Oh, and run it. So searching through the picture, it's going to find all the features and uh, hopefully return them. Okay, so gives you the def uh, destination of where they were found and it also gives you this wonderful white line around it, which is really good. So this was going to be useful in my Halloween hack because the idea was it would look at the mouth and um, if it found teeth or vampire teeth, then um, the program was going to say that it found a vampire. And this is uh, what I was planning on using um, for this for this feature here. What's also quite nice is that you can then apply makeup. So if we open up program four, so it uses the same um, process as the previous program. It looks for the features and then it applies them. So I'm going to use my picture of Boris here. I'm going to run this. So it will find all the pitch, uh, all the features, and then it will apply some formatting to it. So we now have Boris with makeup on. Wonderful! What a clown! So let's go back to our Buffy and let's apply it to all the cast of Buffy. So remember, running on the uh, Raspberry Pi 4, uh, 4 gig, so it's fairly rapid. Um, you can see it's taking a couple of seconds to uh, to render it. Excellent picture there. Okay, so this next one's quite a nice um, program. What it's going to do is it's going to compare two pictures or two faces. And it's then going to return uh, true or false statements about the pictures. So my first image is a picture of Boris, and uh, I think you just saw that because that was the one I was using for the makeup. So here's my picture of Boris, 
and the program is then going to load up a picture of Buffy which I've got done here, Buffy 2 okay and the program is then going to look at an unknown image and make a comparison between the faces so you can see that all three images are different but what we're looking here um, at is that the program is going to compare them so Boris and the two pictures of Buffy and then decide whether or not um, they are the same person so it does the encodings and then it makes a comparison and then it returns whether or not it thinks the picture is of the same person now in this case um, the picture of Boris is not Buffy but the picture of Buffy is Buffy so if we're comparing the unknown face with Buffy should be true because Buffy and Buffy are the same but for the Boris image Boris is obviously not Buffy heaven forbid and therefore it should return that it's false so let's run this one here we go so is the unknown face a picture of Boris so in other words here's the unknown face it was Buffy so is the unknown face a picture of Boris no it's not is the unknown face a picture of Buffy true because of the, they're both pictures of Buffy and is the unknown face a new person that we've never seen before false so obviously we have seen it before because we've seen Buffy now let's change this to a picture of me so here's a picture of me which I've called Foo and um, I'm going to change this as the unknown person so it should recognize none of them now because I'm not or I don't look like Boris and I don't look like Buffy and neither does Boris look like Buffy so therefore in the comparison we should get false is it an un is the unknown face oh. Uh, I need to just change that. Uh, is the unknown face a picture of Boris? No, because it's a picture of me. Is the unknown face a picture of Buffy? That should be false. And is it the unknown face a person we've never seen before? Should be true, because we've only ever seen Boris and Buffy, and I'm the unknown face. And therefore, we should get false, false, true. You'll notice one takes a little bit longer to do because obviously it's comparing the uh, all three images okay so it's a picture of me and what the program is saying is the unknown face a picture of Boris no it's not it's a picture of me is the unknown face a picture of Buffy no it's not is the unknown face a new person that we've never seen before true because we haven't seen that one before okay and what's good about this one is you can compare different images um, as you saw earlier with a picture of um, Buffy a different picture of Buffy obviously it finds the comparisons uh, even though it's two different pictures of Buffy it still finds that it's the same face and comes back as um, true so quite a nice hack that so the last hack I'm going to leave you with is a real-time webcam live facial recognition and uh, for this you're going to need to install um, OpenCV2 and check out the instructions here for easy install um, takes a couple of um, well, it takes about maybe 45-50 minutes to, to install it um, but it's worth it because you can um, do a live facial recognition with a webcam so I have a webcam connected up to my Raspberry Pi and I've created this image called Dan image and this uses the Foo picture so it's using this one here <coughs> which probably isn't the best picture but uh, you can see there that's the picture that the program has stored of me and it looks for all the features facial encodings and uh, saves that in the variable called Dan face encoding I then have a picture of Spike who is probably undoubtedly the best character in Buffy and um, if we open up Spike there's my picture of Spike in full vampire mode so the program's going to render that and uh, recognize all the encodings save all the features etc ready to go then we're going to do is make a comparison and uh, start up the webcam the webcam is going to um, see what's in front of it so to start with it's going to find me and then what it should do is return if it knows the face it should return the word known and if it doesn't know the face then it's going to say unknown 
So let's run this. I'm just using a fairly cheap webcam, um, so the quality is not particularly good, but you'll be able to see on screen what is happening. So the webcam is on my monitor, uh, just to my right, which is why you're getting my ear. So this is me sat in front, and if I move over here into the camera, I'm hoping that at some point it will recognise me. Let me come down a bit. You can see it just flashing up there. It's a bit scary, that. Okay. So it recognises me, and that's from that photograph before um, the Foo photograph, and you can see obviously it has uh, identified me. Now, uh, unfortunately, Spike's not here, so what I'm going to do is load up the picture of Spike on the screen, and I'm going to use the webcam to uh, see if we can identify him. So here's the webcam. I'm going to put that. So I'm now filming the screen in front of me. Um, we can see Spike there. I'm hoping we might just be able to catch it. Nope. Okay. So I'm just going to see if I can change the settings. Oh, there we go. Oh. So I think I have to be slightly closer there. Excellent. So this is a picture on this screen. So obviously Spike isn't here, and it identifies that image as Spike. Now let me load Boris up, because Boris is not in any of the pictures, and hopefully it identifies Boris as an unknown. So I'm going to need the webcam. Brilliant. Okay, so webcam is attached to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I'm showing a picture of Boris Johnson. I haven't coded the program to find a picture of Boris Johnson, therefore it recognizes it as unknown. Uh, um, but we have trained it to find Spike. So here is Spike. And it identifies Spike. So pretty good that, not too many lines of code required. Um, and uh, obviously a better webcam would uh, produce better results and um, you could uh, speed it up probably using a Raspberry Pi with the 8 gigabytes of memory of RAM and uh, it's pretty pretty impressive okay so thanks for watching um, don't forget to like and subscribe check out the links for the program codes below and if you've got any questions or um, if you try this out and make your own programs I'd love to see them and uh, see what you uh, what you create thanks for your time then